Hundreds of local and federal police swooped down on Hidden Valley, arresting dozens of gang members on drug and gun charges. That was the scene more than a year ago. Today, three of the group's ringleaders sentenced under new tougher guidelines. Crime Tracker reporter Glenn Counts is live from our mobile newsroom out at the federal courthouse tonight. Glenn? Well, Sonia, the Kings have terrorized the Hidden Valley community ever since the early 90s. Today, uh, the ringleaders appeared here at a federal courthouse and went before a federal judge to learn their fate. Roscoe Abel was the leader of the Kings. Do you believe that? No, I don't. Emmanuel Keller was his violent sidekick. My grandson is not capable of the things they say. Abel Keller and Jameer Lowry are the leaders of the Hidden Valley Kings. They are also going to prison for a very long time. Abel for 20 years, Keller 24, and Lowry 10. Their families still support them. Abel's sister and mother didn't want to be identified. Do you believe he is a gang member? No. I think he's a person that was trying to survive. Keller's grandmother says he went to church and was a family man. Prosecutors say he allegedly was involved in the 2005 North Tryon shootout and chase that resulted in a murder. They wasn't active, no, because he was back in church and he was working and uh, construction work and his boss supervising all of them. The obvious message that it doesn't pay to be a gang member, it doesn't pay to be a drug dealer. Now, in addition to the three gang members, four other, or excuse me, the three ringleaders, four other gang members were also sentenced today. Between now and Thursday, a total of 18 will be. Now, even though their family members may still believe in them and support them, that still does not change the fact that all of them have pleaded guilty. Reporting live from our mobile newsroom at the Federal Courthouse, Glenn Counts, News Channel 36.